Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. Uh, this is the regular BAM box for October. First of all, sorry very much. Uh, if anybody watched the horror BAM box for October, you know that I said that I'd probably be pretty late on opening this one, but I still want to apologize because I couldn't get to it. Was on vacation for a bit, uh, got back, had to take care of things, and um, so I'm doing it in November, but I'm excited about it. Hopefully other people are excited about it and watch this but I'm sure the amount of views will go way down just because it's so late but it is what it is um, for people looking in the background of this video yes there right here mmm Girl Scout cookies one of my biggest weaknesses I can't help it they're phenomenal yes Thin Mints Caramel Delights used to be Samoa's and the peanut butter patty things amazing but anyway that has nothing to do with this unboxing. This is, like I said, the regular BAM box for October. I already did the horror one, but it's basically like getting two horror ones for October because the regular BAM box, they did horror, um, from what I understand, from what was sent out for the franchises they were going to do for it. So very excited about that. You know, I love horror. Um, it's actually been one year now since I've been doing BAM box subscription, the regular, that is. Horror wasn't around until, what, two months ago? So... One year, this is kind of like my one year BAM box celebration box in a sense. So, very cool. Let's get into it. Hopefully there's some good stuff, but I'm sure it's gonna be pretty solid because like I said, horror stuff and I'm all about that. Once again, big fan of the pins and the art prints. Uh, just today actually while I'm recording this, uh, this morning I did um, put up a bunch of the art prints that I had sitting around from band boxes that I didn't get around to and some of the autographs and stuff like that. So just did my band box wall update, which was nice. Um, two pieces of tissue paper for my cat. All right. So prop replica. Feels like something kind of heavy, metal. I'm usually not huge on these prop replicas, so let's see what this is. Okay. Uh, it doesn't really interest me. It says on the outside it's from the show Grimm. It's a replica of one of the seven keys. I don't really, I don't get the reference because I don't watch Grimm. I've actually heard some pretty good things about that show for being like on regular television. Um, so maybe one day, quite possibly not. This is super stuck to the, I don't know why they need to put it on this stuff weird all right so that's this it's a i don't like that control okay so as you can see here see it's got like a design i mean like i said i don't really get the reference on it and then it kind of like comes undone and is a key that i assume has something to do with the show i mean it's a little it's like very loose the way it moves you see like the way it moves, it's like super loose, but but it's not bad. I mean, quality wise, pretty solid. It's heavy. It's just you know, it's lost on me because I don't watch the show and yeah. So if somebody wants it, you can let me know. I'll try and get it to you. Uh, next thing is a patch. You know, I'm not huge on the patches, but Fringe Division, Department of Defense. I. Don't know if this has to do with the TV show Fringe, maybe, which I never watched, but people told me I should, and I always meant to, but I haven't gotten to it. It's too many shows, you know, way too many shows. Next thing, I don't want more of these, to be honest. License, another license plate. And I don't, I don't know the reference, but I guess we'll find out in the book. I'm sure there's some people out there watching this right now who are saying, Oh, I get it. I know what that's from. But this is, I've gotten a few license plates now from them. This may be like my fourth license plate from Bambox in like a year. That's like a third of the year. Um, I don't like it. Uh, if it's something really interesting or cool, like they're like vanity plates or something, like we had, I know they had the ones from like Ferris Bueller's Day Off that said Nervous on it, and they had the Knight Rider one that said Knight Rider, like, those are more interesting, but like this one where it's just like a direct reference to, I'm 
guessing like an actual license plate in a show or movie. Um, I don't know. I don't really have much use for that kind of stuff. I wonder how many people actually like collect license plates these days. I don't know. Anyway, just not my thing. Pin. All right, we're going to go for the pin. Please be a good pin. Oh, yeah. Actually, okay. I'm not a huge... Um, this is from Buffy the Vampire Slayer TV show. Um, I'm not a big fan of that, mainly because I didn't really watch it much. I'd seen like a, an episode here or there. It was like, fine. That's another show that people were like, oh, you should definitely check it out because Joss Whedon did such an amazing job writing it and directing it. It's, all right. So I was just like, eh. Uh, maybe one day I'll get to it, but the artwork on this pin, as usual with Bambox, is really good. Look at this. That is, well, looks kind of like Sarah Michelle Gellar, who played Buffy on the TV show. Looks very, I, I mean, I won't say dead on, but you could tell it was her. That's nice. It's really good. It's really good, and it's a cool pin. They always kill it with the pins. I'm always super excited about the pins. Um... I do like, I will say, I do like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the movie, with Kirsty Swanson. It's a good one. So, you got that going. Alright, next thing, either the art print or the autograph. Usually it's the art print first. Yes, art um, by Chris Uminga. And it's Edward Scissorhands. And this is nice. I, a lot of people told me that Chris Uminga, like, typically does, like, really good stuff. I don't think I've gotten any of his stuff in Bambox before. I know he's done it for Bambox like two other times, I believe. And I just haven't. Like the one time I don't even think I was signed up for Bambox. And the other time, like, I think I got the other print. Um, so I have number 606 out of 1200. Look at this. That looks good. It looks really good. That's cool. It's like cartoonish, but enough detail to be, you know pretty dead on with the actual character that's good i like it it's a nice print nice pin that's what usually makes me happy about the band boxes everything else it's kind of like a bonus to me and the autograph zach galligan <laughs> nice okay that's cool oh like, this is nice and my wife is gonna be is gonna like this actually too so it's zach Gall galligan from gremlins which is cool um some people may get this and be like, oh, I don't care for that. He's not, like, a good enough uh, celebrity, but I'm fine with it. If they're from horror movies and I know who they are, like, not by necessarily their real-life name, but, like, I know what character they played and I know the franchise, totally good with it. That's cool for me. Uh, why I said my wife will probably like this is because she likes Gizmo. Um, she... She, like, kind of enjoyed the Gremlins films, even though she's not into horror stuff. But that's mainly because, like, it's horror, but it's, like, some comedy to it. And it's just kind of, like, fun. Um, but she thinks Gizmo's, like, super cute. So the fact that Gizmo is in this, she's going to like that. I think it's cool. That's going to go up on my wall. I like it. Those are the types of autographs I like to get. And I think that was it. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's go over the booklet. As you can see, October... It's got the pumpkin with the gremlin carved in it. It's cool artwork. All right, so the pins. Um, so there were three different types of pins you could have gotten for this one having to do with Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Uh, there was, we got the regular one. Um, then there was a spike that was five, 500 done and there were 250 the gentleman pin. I guess I don't really get it because I haven't watched the show, but oh, there you go, you can see. That's the 250, that's the 500, and that's, honestly, I'm totally fine getting the regular one. That's all right. I'm good. It looks good. It looks really good. Uh, Fringe Division. Yes, it is from the TV show Fringe. Um, oh, what? So, apparently, there was a rare version of the patch, and I got it, even though I didn't have a one-up card. Okay. So I got the rare version of the Fringe Division pin because, as you can see, this was the normal one right here, which actually I like the coloration on that better, and this was the limited to 250, and we got the limited to 250. Check that out. I mean, it's cool to get, you know, what's limited, but if you don't really care about it that much. So if anybody sees this and they, you know, want to do a trade for it or something, that's fine. We can do that. 
Because, I, like I said, I haven't watched Fringe, so I don't really care about that patch. Plus, I don't really like patches. So, yeah. Okay. Then we had the Gremlins autograph from Zach Galligan. And, ooh, there were three different prints you could get that he signed. Or three different glossies. Glossy stills from movies. And I don't... Oh, okay. I was trying to look at, like, the rare, like, the rarer one, this one right here. And I was like, why is that interesting? It's probably, it's because there's, like, a gremlin under here. Or, or, um, gizmo. So that was out of two, there were only 250 of those. This one's probably the coolest one from a horror perspective of him, like, fighting Stripe, I think is what his name was. Stripe. Him fighting Stripe, and then, um, that's the one I ended up with. Which I'm fine with. I mean, they all look good, so that's all good. I'm happy with that. Um, the Seven Keys thing from Graham. Yeah, it was just a picture of that. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan, so if anyone wants to trade for that or something, let me know. It's cool. Uh, then we have... Oh, man, wow. So the, the art prints for... The, there was one by Chris Huminga... And then Steve McGinnis did the other one, which I like the Chris Mingo one. This is the thing. Like, both these prints that were available were really good. I think I would prefer the Steve McGinnis one because I got the Steve McGinnis one for uh, the horror BAM box, and it was phenomenal. And I just like his style. I like how he likes to do things. And he did the same thing with Edward Scissorhands in this. So as you can see, you know, this was the Chris Mingo one, obviously, that I ended up with. Which is cool. But then this is a Steve McGinnis that's more like portrait, looks more realistic, and I'm, I'm kind of more into that. Um, and there was like a black and white and then a little more colored one for two, only 250 of those. So um, ah, I, want more, I want more Steve McGinnis stuff. I really do. Um, then the Halloween license plate prop replica. Okay, so the license plate I got is from ho the movie Halloween. Okay? Okay. Rando. Um, you could also have gotten, a instead, a license plate from Evil Dead TV show. Or movie, I'm sorry. The Evil Dead movie. I was thinking Ash vs. Evil Dead, because it's coming up in a few months. No, one from Evil Dead. If I was going to get one, I'd prefer to get the one from Evil Dead, because I'm more of an Evil Dead fan, plus probably more recognizable but either way i don't really care about the license plates not a big fan um so there you go halloween one and the evil dead one down anyway there's that and then on the back they had a contest to win a chris hemsworth signed thor action figure which is pretty awesome they get like not many of but they get some really cool ones you can see it down here if you're still looking but they get some really cool like one-off autographs that they'll put out as like you can win this or you can actually buy through their other company but overall um i'm happy with this i'm happy because as long as i like as long as i really like the art print and the pin i'm good with the box um when the autograph is good too then i'm quite happy with the box so i'm not like oh my god this is the most amazing box i'm so blown away but i quite like this box because print's really nice the pin's really nice and the autograph is a really nice bonus um i'm a fan of that autograph i like it so um good job i could just do without the prop replica the patches any license plates i don't want any license plates unless they're like autographed then fine that's a little different but um but you know i like this box it's a good box uh it's been a solid box like i said i've been doing it for a year now and I'm always happy because at least the pins and the print, the art prints are good. There have only been a few times where I haven't been happy with the prints, but I think pretty much every time I've been down with the pins. And there may have been a few pins here or there where I was just like, meh, but they're well designed. Anyway, thank you so much, everyone, for checking this out. Hopefully my next two, the next regular band box for November and the horror band box for November will be on time with my unboxings. Once again, I apologize for this being so late, but please enjoy the video and enjoy all my other videos. Check it out if you like what you see. 
kind of mention it to people and say, hey, there's this dude who unboxes horror stuff by and large. Because I also do Box of Dread, which is a lot of fun. Um, but just spread the word, and I would appreciate that. But anyway, until next time, keep it brutal.